Assalamu alaikum ladies. So today I'm just going to take you through how I've been storing my stock. I've started Ukht London from my home. We did attempt to find a warehouse and an office, but unfortunately none of them were exactly suitable. Um, but alhamdulillah, I'm very happy I didn't take an office or a warehouse at this point because obviously because of the pandemic and that would have been, you know, a huge expense, um, you know, and it was very uncertain. So this particular cupboard I purchased online and the reason I got it is because I needed many different compartments for all the different types of niqabs and hijabs that I wanted to stock because me personally, I struggled to find niqabs and hijabs that match in colors and of course you probably know that niqabs come in many many different styles so i wanted a cupboard that's not too bulky um for example like the ikea um unit but um i wanted one that could you know be packed away if i didn't want it and wasn't too expensive each compartment has got a different color of niqabs if you come with me to the next room inshallah and i'll show you the rest okay so the next room is my kids room alhamdulillah they've been kind enough to share their new big wardrobe with me and the middle section is all mine alhamdulillah for stock and all of this is anything to do with the hijab basically so um we've got the plain chiffon hijabs here and then we've got the pleated hijabs ombre ones and then we've got the bamboo bonnets which are quite expensive very good quality alhamdulillah and then finally we've got the hijab pins and yeah so this part is just anything to do with the hijabs and then let me take you to the main stock, inshallah. So this is the main stock, alhamdulillah. Um, I've managed to get a huge collection. And being from an Eastern European family, most of the men in my family are carpenters and they can work with like wood and, you know, they created this huge shelf for me, alhamdulillah. Um, yeah, so at the top we have all the maxi hijabs in different colours. And then underneath that, we have all the butterfly and straight abayas. Then come the uh, one-piece jilbabs. And then the two-piece jilbabs. Then we have more one-piece jilbabs, um, but in the elastic style with the pockets. And yes, for that, I do need to use a two-step ladder, which my mom got me. And it's really useful to be able to get to the top and get all the products for you guys. If we come through here, the main room where all the orders, all the emails, um, all the picture taking happens basically. <laughs> we have a little bit more stock through here. Um, just some random things that have built up over the years. Um, some still need pictures to be taken of. Uh, some are just samples. And then these are the lights that we use. We also have a backdrop that we put up when we do a huge photo shoot and alhamdulillah my assistant purchased this huge rail which is actually it's really hard to find a rail that's long enough to be able to um keep your abayas and jilbabs <laughs> without you know hitting hitting the bottom of the ground and kind of falling onto the floor normally when we do a photo shoot um we'd have to iron all the jilbabs with our beautiful iron over here alhamdulillah it matches the logo golden black so in these drawers i like to keep all of the kind of little things that i need once in a while for example so this uh fabric in particular which is going to come out soon um this is for sun it's a very beautiful long lasting durable fabric um it has a sheen to it just like the nida fabric you know that's another nida fabric beautiful shine to it this is actually the most popular fabric amongst muslim clothing alhamdulillah and yeah, and down here I keep um, all the labels for my label printer. We go through a lot of them. And samples, things that sometimes get returned, parcels that need to be shipped a little bit later for whatever reason. And just electrical stuff and stuff like that. And these are printers. We use these for the invoices and the packing slips. And then we've got the label printer. I've got a whole video on the label printer as well. So this is the part of the room where we have de dedicated to, um, you know, packing the orders, which I'm going to do a video about, inshallah. And just, you know, planning in general. So we've got the huge um, calendar up on the wall. Today is the 1st of January, 2021. We do um, majority of the content, planning, uh, packing orders, answering your emails, everything from here. And, you know, I've definitely got a nice bin over there because it, it does get really, really messy, especially when packing orders, which you guys are probably going to see in the videos, inshallah. Um, but yeah, and th these are like the poly mailers that I have at hand. 
um, you know, each one's for a different thing. These are huge, um, these are medium, and then we've got the tiny ones for like the nabobs. Let me just show you. Um, and they're all branded, they've got um, the Ochlandan logo on it, the website, um, and the Instagram. These um, bubble envelopes, what we use them for is to package the hijab pins that are magnetic. And they're very good quality, alhamdulillah, and they prevent your hijabs from snagging. And they come in several different colours. This is the gunmetal grey, and that's the gold. We've also got rose gold and silver as well. So we would normally package these and put them in these kind of envelopes just to protect them. So I hope you ladies enjoyed the video, inshallah, and I hope it has been of some sort of benefit to you, whether you run a business or you're planning to, inshallah. Um, you know, we're going to go ahead and plan the rest of the year because it's the 1st of January today. And the plan is to upload three times a week, um, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, inshallah. So I'm going to get back to work. Assalamu alaikum.